What is going on, guys? Um, it's been a little bit since I uh, made a video, and I've got all kinds of crap in the mail. Um, let's see, I got this big freaking U-Haul box full of stuff today from this guy. You might have heard of him. Boston Broncos fan 21, Brett. Um, I kind of let my uh, mouth do some talking before my brain did some processing and challenged him to kind of like a, I don't know, it sounds cheesy maybe, but uh, like a just because war. Just a little fun, man. And uh, it looks like Brett might have went over and beyond. I've never received a full big ass box from a uh, tuber. So, I'll be opening that. Um, I just got done watching, hell, I don't know, probably 25 videos or so. And, uh, just kind of enjoying a day off today. Um, if y'all ever seen Huff Boyardee's videos, that dude, man, that dude has some passion, man, for his freaking Cleveland Indians. Um, it's not very many times that you see a person be that passionate about a team and especially when you know your team's going through hard times um like the cleveland indians are that's his team and uh man he seems he sticks through and through and through and i love watching videos of dudes that are passionate about anything um so um it's kind of more for you baseball guys if y'all um are fans of baseball, the sport, not just of a particular team, check his videos out, man. He's, uh, he's good shit. Um, so I got some bats in the mail, kind of what I do. Um, I got this bat. It's, um, used in 2009. I made a, I traded a guy to trade another guy. It was like a three-team trade, man, for this freaking bat. And it's just an Eli Whiteside bat. So it's not that big of a deal, except for this little guy right here. 125th anniversary of Louisville Slugger. Um, the one and only year that they put that commemorative stamp on there. I'll see if I can get it closer without knocking bats and shit off the wall. But um, that's the only um, 125th Louisville Slugger edition that I have. And um, the dude had a Giants one, so I had to sweep it up, man. And I am uh, far from, like, an Eli Whiteside fan, but I picked up two of his bats in one week, and I thought it was pretty funny because the dude's, like, in the minor leagues now, but since he was on the 2010 uh, San Francisco Giants uh, World Series roster, he was the backup catcher for Buster Posey, um, I kind of... I'm a sucker for that, and so I bought another one, and I bought this bad boy for 16 bucks, man, plus shipping, and it has, boom, the 2010 stamp on it, and with that bat being made in September, odds of this bat being used in October are pretty damn good, man, um, but this is just a, uh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I grabbed the wrong damn bat. This is a Freddy Sanchez bat. Boom. So, um, the odds of this bat being used in the playoffs is freaking awesome. And y'all know Freddy Sanchez is one of my, like, uh, probably my second biggest player PC. So I'm always stoked to pick up his stuff. But, back to what I was saying about the Eli Whiteside. Man, I gotta fix my camera angle here. I can't lay these bats down flat. Boom. Two freaking Eli Whiteside bats within, I believe it was a span of like three days. So, like I said, I'm not like a Eli Whiteside uh, super collector, but that bat was 16 bucks, man. So I had to pick it up. Um, if y'all watch I Am 140's videos, he just came from the um, San Francisco TriStar. Um, dude, I would have loved to freaking gone out there, and I'm thinking about next year heading out there. I'm all the way out in Florida right now, but with the Giants being, like, my only real PC, 
Um, where else would you go to get giant shit than San Francisco? You know, it kind of makes sense. But um, I mailed some uh, stuff in this year. They had um, Sergio Romo and Javier Lopez were there. So I got two autographs. That's Sergio Romo. I don't know how the hell that says Sergio Romo, but it is Sergio Romo. With the fear inscription, a lot of times, you know, Brian R Wilson will um, sign Fear the Beard, and um, Sergio Romo just started writing Fear It, because he himself has a fatty ass freaking beard. Very nice. So, un unlike Sergio Romo, you could tell who this guy is. Um, Javier Lopez with the 2010 World Series Champs inscription. Now tell me that is not a freaking beautiful autograph. That is freaking nice. So, um, got two relievers um, at the TriStar event. And... Oh, that's fell down for the for the loss there. So, into this thing, man. I don't really know how to get into this thing. If I use a jackhammer or a stick of dynamite. Or maybe I'll just man up on it. Ugh. There we go. A little MAN works. Ugh. So, Brett, I feel... Man, you got all kinds of stuff in here. I don't want to look in there just yet. So, um, I feel bad, dude, because, like, it looks like you're not just mailing cards, bro. And where is it? Right here. I don't want to freaking, I'm definitely not going to show the front, but one, two, three. I got three cards for you, and granted, they're sick-ass fucking cards. I got three cards for you, but they're just cards, and you have... My lord, dude, it looks like uh, all kinds of stuff in here, so uh, we'll get to uh, opening this bad boy. Um, oh, oh, crap, there's a letter. Um, Garrett, just wanted to show a little appreciation for you and the generous Birdman mail day you sent me. Uh, thought I would help out with the giant man cave PC, since you're... Life wants you to take it easy on the cardboard. I uh, hope you enjoy your new man cave decorations. And just know that meeting great people who share the same love for the hobby um, that I do is oh, the whole reason why I joined this great community. You're one of the good ones. Signed, Brett. Broncos Boston fan 21. Look at that freaking honking ass letter, man. And my friend, as far as I'm concerned, you're uh, definitely one of the good ones on here as well, man. And uh, that's something I, I don't say lightly. I really mean that. So, um, God darn. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do this since I already opened it. it looks like a. Oh, I got a guest just walked in. Come here. Come here. Oh, you haven't seen this guy. Who's that? Who's that? Landon? Is that Landon? No? Okay. He didn't want to talk too much. Okay. So, um, it's like a San Francisco Giants 18-wheeler. So... Uh, I'll definitely be finding um, some place for that in here. And let's see what else. I got. Dude, this is um, pretty funny. Um, me and my wife went to. Um, Y'all heard of a memorabilia store called Field of Dreams? Well, now he's going to talk up a storm for you guys now that he's on camera. Um, you heard of a memorabilia store called Field of Dreams? We seen one of these in there, dude, and we were gonna get it, and we just didn't. Oh. Uh, and no, Landon, don't touch, don't touch. And uh, I'm sorry, Brett, man. 
Um, we were going to get it, and we just didn't. And even my wife was like, I freaking loved it. I freaking loved it. But, dude, this is true San Francisco Giants freaking man cave material right here. This looks kind of like the one that um, you have in your background, or you used to have in your background of the Boston Red Sox, except, obviously, this one's better. <laughs> um, dude, this is super nasty, bro. This really is. And I'll probably end up putting it in, let's see, that spot right here in my future videos. Dude, that is freaking nasty. Hey, don't touch, bud. Come on. Oh, hang on, guys. I'm going to have to get him out of here. Go see Mama. Go see Mama. Okay, so that's that, and that thing is fucking disgusting, dude. So, thanks a ton, man. That, oh man, I fucking love that. I really do. I think the wife's gonna freaking poop her pants when she sees that. Um, that's not good. That's a screw down. That's a brick. Followed by another screw down and another screw down. Dude, I was no shit going to mail your package off to, let's see, it should be here tomorrow. So, Wednesday or Thursday, there's no way in hell I am going to mail you your package then. Because I have much more shit to get now. So, you are going to be screwed, my friend. I freaking said a little war, and you went freaking all out on my ass. So, let's see what we got. Um, let's see, I don't know what this is here. Let's, I think it's this way, maybe? Oh, 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 I know what that is. That's Matt Cain, my friend. That's one of the best fucking pitchers, underrated pitchers in the game. Oh, and that is a nasty ass card that I do not have. Ah, hey, get, hey, buddy, don't touch, don't touch. Go, go see mama. No, go see mama. This thing is numbered <laughs> twelve of fifteen, dude. This card is retarded, bro. This shit is awesome. Sorry about the glare, guys. That is the shit. I need to hurry this video up. Um, let's see. Maybe this way, maybe? Mm, no? Oh, hell. Boom, this way. That is, I don't know whose legs those are. I can't read that. I cannot read that. No fucking way, dude. It's stretch, man. Willie McCovey. Passing the torch. Number 90 of 10. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. Um, I feel bad because now I'm like having to rush so I can freaking upload this video. That thing is sick, bro. Seriously. Um, and there's two things in this. I don't know what you got here. Uh, boom. It's the bum. Madison Bumgardner, rookie. Sweet. And the last card. Oh, shit. I know what this is. I've been trying to buy a bunch of these lately. Oh, <laughs> and I have not bought this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's Big Timmy Jim. The Freak, aka the franchise. 
Oh my god, dude, this thing is fucking disgusting. Um, number 20 of 75 from Topps Museum Collection, Tim Lincecum. Dude, that thing is retarded. That is awesome. Um, I gotta go, guys, because I do not want to have to redo this video. That package was freaking epic. So, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna one-up you, but I will try to one-up you. Um, peace out, guys. Thanks a ton, Brett. It's your ass, buddy. It's coming right back at you, and yeah, take that. Peace out, guys. <laughs>